hey guys welcome back to another video of fox android so this video will be in continuation with our cloud firestore series so in the previous three videos we have seen that how to write the data read the data and the up update the data in the cloud firestore if you haven't seen those videos already i'll highly recommend to check out those videos by clicking on this i button so in today's video we'll see if we want to delete some data some document from the cloud firestore how do we do that so for the illustration purpose let me first show you what we're going to get by the end of this video right so if you can see on my mobile screen uh, let me open this console so here you can see this is uh, there is one document in which there is age first name and last name is where right so on my mobile screen in this first name uh, edit text input field i'll just type in the view and now if i click on delete data then this document should get deleted right so you can see successfully deleted and this document has been deleted so let us try with some other document now if i type beneath and press delete data okay this document is also deleted so this is what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial right so without wasting much time let's get started so guys if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the future video notifications and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well so here you can see i've already designed the front end part of this uh, activity basically there is one simple uh, text edit text input field and one button which on which uh, we have written delete data and this will be used to delete the data right so there's nothing fancy about it we'll simply dive into the back end code and i'll be explaining how to implement that in, into your application right So first I'll just write down the whole code then I'll be explaining bit by bit that uh, what I've done right so I'll be explaining the whole code first let me write the code right.
okay guys the backend code has been completed so what we have done here is we have just made the reference variable for the button edit text and firebase firestore db so you all know that what is this as i have already explained in the previous tutorials as well so here we have got the instance for the firebase firestore and we refer the uh, delete button and the first name edit text here right from this activity right this layout so this is the first name input uh, text and this is the delete so we referred here then we set the on click listener on the delete button right so we got the uh, input that is entered by the user in this string variable for called first name then after that we have done nothing just set the input field after clicking the delete button to null right so then we have called the method delete data right and pass the first name as an argument so this is the method in this method uh, we have done the same thing which we have done in the update data button first we have got this id the document we want to delete for example if we want to delete this document then we got the id of this document like rsy4 like this long id so for that what we have done is we have uh, referred to this collection this user collection db dot collection right then we have set uh, the condition we are equal to first name and with here we have passed the second argument as the input that is entered by the user so the very first argument is the this field name the field name is first name right and the second argument is the input that has been entered by the user then we have called the get method get method will get all the documents that will satisfy this condition then we have attached the on complete listener and inside on complete listener we have checked if task is successful and the result is not empty then we have got the id of the document in this string variable document id so here we have got the document id then again referring to this uh, collection db dot collection right user collection then we have a refer to the variable the very uh, sorry the document that we have got here right then we call the method delete dot delete so delete method will delete this document right so we have uh, then we have attached the on success listener if the document is successfully deleted then this method will be called this is a callback method otherwise this failure listener uh, we have attached the failure listener as well if the uh, document is not deleted there is some error then this method will be called so here we have raised a toast saying that successfully deleted so the document is successfully deleted just to show you guys right and here we have raised the toast that some error is occurred in case the task is not successful or whatever name that has been entered by the user so that document does not exist then in the sales condition we have raised the toast saying feed so that was the code i hope you understood the code now i'll quickly install this app to my cell phone and we'll check if it is working fine or not so guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen now let me open the firebase console so here this has this document so where the first name is saurav so let me type in saurav as the first name now if i click on this delete button okay you can see the successfully uh, deleted has been popped up and the document is deleted now let me try with some other document so here the first name is michael now if click on delete button you can see the document is deleted so we have successfully implemented the code in our app right so i hope you understood the code in case you have any doubt you can uh, ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now so if you understood the code and like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon so you get the notifications for the upcoming videos that was it for today's video see you in another video bye